गोपाल करण टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ही अबाउट कॅस्केडिंग स्टाईल शीट्स इट इज इट इज द सेकंड युनिट ऑफ वेब टेक्नॉलॉजी सब्जेक्ट द कॅस्केडिंग स्टाईल शीट मीन्स वेन एन वेअर वी हॅव टू गिव्ह सम स्टाईल्स टू अवर वेब पेज वी हॅव टू यूज दिस सी एस एस सी एस एस फुल फॉर्म इज द कॅस्केडिंग स्टाईल शीट्स वेन एन वेअर वी हॅव टू टेक एनी वेब पेज this web page background color change whenever we want to change the background color or uh, text of this web page and we change any text uh, font font sizes so font faces so we have to use this cascading style sheets this cascading style sheet is can be divided into three types the three types are three types of the cs the three types are first one is the external cs and the second one is the internal cs and third one is the inline cs external css here we want to change any style of the web page we have to use the style tag this style tag give to given the html program the styles of the web page are changed that that style star background of the web page or font size of web page and any text font size any text font faces are changed by using the css in the external css first of all we want to take externally one file the file stored dot uh, css in which dot uh, css here we want to give any link and the next we are we have to take the html program in the another web page this html program is linked to this dot css file externally that's why this is called external css this external css here link is addressed here this web page is linked to the this external dot css file this file is the external file that's why this is called external css in this external css we had we want to write program because we have to say that the external css this external css is the externally another file is linked to the html program for example one series this is the body and we want to change background of the web page that's why we have to give here in the body background color this is the uh, hexadecimal code that's why it give some colors in the hexadecimal format and the next uh, in the heading color is the h1 h1 means heading that the heading color is black and align uh, text align center this is the external file totally external file this external file saved like as a external dot css external dot css next uh, another web page we want to take uh, and uh, write the html program in the another web page in this uh, in that another uh, uh, yeah, in that another web page we want to write the html program give html tag uh, and uh, head tag uh, and uh, link one see this uh, link uh, this link tag uh, link uh, relation equal to style sheets so here we want to change the styles of the web page that's why right. here relation is the style sheets so here difference is the external dot css file this reference use use this reference and change this web page of the styles like that that's why give h, h reference 
equal to external dot css because of our storage before our storage file is saved as external dot css that external dot css given in the link link reference and next close this head tag and now start the body now in the web page write any heading that heading is the h1 h1 Yeah, is the this is the external CSS. I want to give some text here. Any text as per wish. I want to take here. This is the external CSS. This H one is the enclosed here. And next we want we here we take we took like we took uh, this H one in the body tag. That's why this body tag enclosed here. Finally, we enclosed the HTML tag. This is the program for the external CSS. In this external CSS, how to change the background or how to change the font size, font colors? Uh, we programmatically seen in the next uh, next. Stop. In this side. Now. Next we have we have to discuss about the internal CSS. Internal CSS that the style tag. The style tag. The style tag. Take inside of the head tag. The style tag is take inside of the head tag. That's why it is called the. Internal CSS. So here no need to take another uh, another external file here. That's why this is uh, this file is inside of the already program is uh, inserted. That uh, program existing this style tag uh, inside of the head tag. That's why this is called the internal CSS. Now we see the example of the internal CSS. In this example, here the body here one see this this body background color background color of the web page and in that web page which head, heading is the taken that heading is having in the color black color. I will give inside of the head tag. Inside of the head tag. That's why this is the internal CSS. In this example, first of all, you want to take this HTML tag and next to it the head tag and the style tag. In this style tag, again we have to take body, background, color. Here some extra extra decimal format is given. The extra decimal format is given some colors to the background and H1. H1 means heading. Which heading is taken on the web page? That H1 is the color. That heading is having in the back color. As we wish take any color in this color tag, H1 tag. That color appears on the web page. And next close the style tag. And again close the head tag. Now we want to start the body tag here. This in this body tag we will give the H1 tag. H1 tag means the head tag, heading tag. That heading tag I will give some heading. That the heading is the. This is the internal CSS. Uh, that in H1 is the enclosed end of the that CSS and uh, close this body tag and finally we close the HTML tag. Uh, this output is uh, seen in uh, next uh, seen in the program programmatically in next uh, next class. In now we discuss the inline CSS. In this inline CSS, we are giving some styles styles of the attributes in the. Uh, one line selector, one line selector. That's why it is called the inline CSS. The styles of the attributes given only selector, only one selector. Each and every selector is the type of style attributes. That's why it is called inline CSS. This is 
the example of the inline CSS. Inline CSS means all style attributes taken in one line. That is selected line. That's why it is called inline CSS. One series example HTML tag. Again we have to take the body, style, under the style, background, icon, color, colon and the green apostrophe is like that and the next uh, that the heading also taken in one line that the heading tag taken here with the style equal to color colon the color given here white color and semicolon that semicolon of the text align which type of text align that is the center that's, uh, that's uh, again closed and here you want to write uh, one uh, heading is the given here, that heading is the, this is inline CSS. I want to do it like that, uh, after as you will wish, and next one is the uh, heading, uh, heading uh, H1 is the closed here, closed heading is the given here, and the next uh, body type is also closed here, and uh, uh, HTML also closed here. This is the example of the inline CSS. After this inline CSS example, how to express is uh, appeared? Uh, that's uh, that's uh, seen. That's uh, next we will see in the programmatically. Don't worry. Next we discuss about the advantages of CSS. Advantages of CSS. Whenever we, we want to use the CSS here, some advantages are there. First advantage is the sales time. Sales time. We want to use that CSS here. The time is saved save because of less time used here for the a change of the web, uh, web page background or any text, uh, we have to take uh, only less time. That's why this is the save, uh, this one is the saves the time. And next one is the page load faster. Page load faster. Here CSS is uh, used for web page uh, background changes or styles changes. Uh, uh, this web page is uh, for, for, very load. This web page load very fastly. That's why this is the one of the advantages. And uh, another one is the easy maintenance. Easy maintenance. Whenever, wherever, whoever. Uh, so many people are used this CSS. Uh, Easily, uh, any web page take uh, easily, that's why easily maintain of the this CSS and the next one is the superior styles to HTML. Superior styles to HTML. The HTML types are used here. Uh, any style you give to web page, that web page are used for superior styles to HTML can be easily. That's why this is the superior style to HTML. And the another one is the multiple device compatibility. Multiple device compatibility. That means uh, multiple devices are uh, used at one time uh, by using that uh, CSS. Uh, web pages are, uh, style, web page styles are changed easily on multiple devices. And the next one is the global web standards. Global web Standards. Whenever we have to use the CSS, the global wise the web standards are uh, changed simply and easily. Uh, 
Before I say about that uh, external uh, CSS, this ex that external CSS uh, see in the programmatically. First of all, we want to open the notepad. After opening that notepad, we will give here external file. External file that is uh, we have to write. Uh, Link that link uh, right like that body. Before I I said that that body is uh, given like that. After space give parenthesis and uh, background background iPhone next. Uh, write the color and uh, give colon and uh, ashimal give ashimal and 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is the hexadecimal format closed that curly braces and next go to next step that next step take h1 in that H1, again we open the curly braces. In that curly braces, give color, colon, and in that colon, give after colon, give black color. That black color, next give semicolon. That semicolon after, we have to take the Text align in next step text iPhone align and give columns and write the center close the top. curly braces again this is the link this uh, file format uh, save as any name with the dot CSS. This is the external external CSS one dot CSS. This dot CSS give file name like that after save it. Again take another notepad and in that notepad we have to write the HTML program. In that HTML program write like this HTML tag after take head tag. And next write the give link before which link given in the dot css file that link given here link relation equal to style sheet style, style sheet write like that and give the h reference that reference name which name give to that file before that name right here h reference that name is the 
right in apostrophes the apostrophes in between external external css 1 dot css file close it next go to next step and close that head tag and next open the body tag open the body tag now give h1 here in that h1 we have to write this is the external cs external css like that now close that h1 tag close that h1 tag next step close the body tag and html tag also closed here sorry html tag closed here now this file also save it as like like external ecstasy ss dot html this file always saved with the dot html after save like that now before html program saved in the html file that html file before i will i gave that name ext css now open that this is the output of the external css see this is the heading tag given this is the external css that uh, heading tag taken in the just uh, black color and now we want to change this black color into another color now i want to change the black color now give that uh, any another color green just like that in that green color here also change any digits like that four five six now save as before one same as like that and give that external file like this reload that this color is changing now now we want to go the before which files are saved dot html now go to that one open that like that here gives the this is the external css name name that external css having in the black color in the dot css file 
which one is uh, give to black color that that uh, black color is replaced with the uh, white color like that now again same as like that same yes and again go to this file and reload that that name change into white color this is the external style sheets css styles can be changed like that now we want to see the internal css again open the new notepad and type the program like this just html here no need to any another dot css file because of this is the internal the styles are already in give the inside of the head again next step stake head tag and in this head tag we will give the style tag style tag after in this style tag we want to write the body here in the curly braces background like that give iframe and color and uh, after color we will give the colons and uh, give hexadecimal color code that is the 654321 any number give here and then go to next step in that next step we want to write h1 and open curly braces in that curly braces we give color colon that color write again black color and close it and next go to next step close that style tag and you know, go to next step again close that head tag this is the close tag that's why we want to give slash here and in the next step we start the body tag here in that body tag we want to write h1 tag in that h1 tag write the this is now give h1 this is internal css that is the heading close that h1 tag h1 and after finally we want to close the body tag and close also html tag and this program is also saved as some internal CSS in terminal CSS dot HTML dot HTML search now again go to HTML file which internal CSS is saved now open that one 
Here, this is the internal CSS name given like that. Now we want to change again this color. Go to internal CSS program and uh, give here any color like uh, yellow and uh, here also change color hexadecimal code also now save as same as like that name yes again we want to go that html program and reload that one color is changed here this is the code that css having in the yellow color on the web page this is the internal css now we want to see about the two inline css example take a html tag and next step take the body tag style equal to background color background icon color colon I will give green color here and close it like that and next to give h1 tag all are having in the only one line that's why this is the inline css h1 after give style equal to color colon white color i will give white color here white semicolon given here after semicolon we want to write that text align text align colon center close it now given here in capital letters this is in line css that is the heading next to close that uh, h1 tag h1 tag take in uh, lower case letters h1 tag close it after next step uh, we close that body tag this is the closed body tag take slash next close the html tag Now this file save as inline CSS inline CSS dot HTML HTML save this one after we go to HTML file open the just in line css like that here background color is given green color and 
that this is inline CSS cells given white color again we want to change the colors go to program and change here like take red color here yellow color again save as this one same and go next to open this file in html after we change like that this is about css cascading style sheets and their types thank you